many unfinished art projects do you have? How many times did you have a great idea for drawing, found amazing reference, did a pretty good sketch and then you hit a wall? You find a problem that you just can't solve no matter how hard you try and all of the excitement you finish that piece is suddenly gone. I was having that same problem a few weeks ago when I was working on this portrait and I was this close to give up. But I didn't and oh boy how glad I am that I didn't. But now how did I find a way around that wall? Well, let me tell you a story. A few days ago I decided I needed a new profile pic for my social media. Because even though I like it, the one I was using, it didn't represent 100% how I wanted to present myself to other people. So I started to work. The main idea was to make a warm and inviting portrait with a very messy and friendly artist vibe. So I gathered some reference and started sketching. And everything was going pretty well until I hit the first wall. I felt like there was something off about the anatomy, so I tried to find more reference and tried to fix it. And then I did and redid the body so many times, I was starting to feel so frustrated because I couldn't get it right. So after spending more time than I should hitting that wall, I decided to finally take a step back, work on other things and just take some time to rest. I think I gave it at least one or two days until I went back to work on the drawing and it was still looking weird. But then I started looking at my earliest sketches and some of them were actually pretty good. The problem was that I ended up getting lost in the details and I forgot to just check for the bigger shapes and that's why the anatomy was looking so weird. Sometimes we as artists work for so many hours on a single piece that we get obsessive with the mistakes that aren't there. And a lot of the times those mistakes are really not that bad. Sometimes everything you need is to rest and look at the drawing with new eyes. And that's how I climbed the first wall. After finally solving the sketch, I started to work on the line art and everything was looking smooth. And then I didn't hit another wall. This time the wall hit me with a better wax. I started to put the colors on the paper like I usually do. Just selecting the local colors and then adding effect layers and adjusting things until it looked good. The problem was, no matter what I tried, it just didn't look good. When I say I spent hours struggling with the colors, I mean that I spent hours and hours and hours just working on the colors and nothing I did was working. If the hair looked good, the skin was too yellow, if the skin was nice, the background had too much contrast and yada yada yada. I tried changing the base colors, I tried different blending modes, for the 9 hills I even tried to change the colors one by one using the tunnel correction tool. But none of those worked, it didn't matter what I tried, I just couldn't climb that wall. Then, like the last time, I decided to take some time off and relax a bit. And when I finally came back to this painting, it still didn't work. The last wall I hit was a bit annoying, but this one, I had no idea how to solve it. And after trying, trying and trying, I was getting tired. So tired, I actually considered just giving up on this piece and just putting it on my gigantic pile of unfinished projects. At that point, I had two options. I could either keep trying and insisting on the painting or I could just give up. And I actually chose none of them. What I actually did was take a deep breath and think about what was really the problem here. And if you're stuck on a painting, here's a quick exercise that might help you find the real problem. The idea is that you ask yourself why this piece is not working and then you take that answer of the first why and ask why again and again and again and again until you find the center of the problem. Here's a little example. I was unhappy with my illustration. Why? Because the colors were ugly. Why? Because the colors I chose didn't work together. And why they didn't work together? Because I was choosing them without a tough process behind it. I was just guessing the colors I would need and for this project that simply wasn't enough. And there we have the source of the problem. I thought about this idea while scripting this video and I think this can help you not feel so lost while facing a challenge like that. So if you try this out and it works for you, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear some feedback on this idea. Okay, now back to the painting. Not that I 
I knew what the center of the problem was, I started to do some research on it. I remember watching a few years ago a course on Skillshare, not sponsored by the way, that changed the way I thought about color. And now it sounded like a good time to revisit the fundamentals. The main idea I learned from that course was that instead of just choosing base colors and starting from there, it can be so much easier, at least for me, to build up your colors gradually starting with colors closer to grays. And then slowly you can add light and saturation to places and make more sense. For the shadows I like to use the classic multiply layer to add also a bit more of color and you can play as much as you want with the blending modes to create light and other effects. There is no right or wrong here. Just remember to test different colors with those blending modes because you might get surprising results. I love working with this process because it's way easier to control things like contrast and make my focal point really pop up. And then, while I was almost finishing that paint, I noticed, hey, the wall is not here anymore. I had finally climbed that wall. And I was really happy with the results of this portrait. If you're feeling stuck while painting something, remember to take some breaks, don't stress too much about it, look at the piece with some new eyes and trust yourself, you can do it. But now, what are some things you like to do when you feel stuck at a painting? I would love to hear about it in the comments. And I hope this video was helpful to you and I hope to see you in another adventure.